And our top story tonight, COVID surge strategies. We have a, a lot of school-aged children who are testing positive for COVID. How different parts of our region are reacting to rising cases. Back in the orange, COVID cases are on the rise across the region. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. Mike Bush has the night off. Take a look at what the St. Louis County COVID dashboard shows tonight. While daily case counts are significantly lower than the Omicron surge from winter, they are higher than the peak of last summer's Delta surge. Tonight, both St. Louis City and County are urging people to put the masks back on in crowded indoor places. But our Ryan Henson is live in East St. Louis, where health officials are keeping a close eye on cases. Ryan. Well, and Eastside Health District says they're seeing about an 18% positivity rate. A little bit less than across the river, but still much to be cautious about. And they're urging people, protect yourself. COVID cases on the rise. So is concern in Eastside Health District in the Metro East. We have a, a lot of school-aged children who are testing positive for COVID. Um, so if the kids are testing positive for COVID, that means their parents and the people that they live with are testing positive for COVID. Zakiya Stewart says more people are getting tested. In April, her staff performed 71 tests. In May, the number jumped to 274. But vaccinations still lacking as many in the East St. Louis community have vaccine hesitancy. I would tell you that um, the vaccine can save lives. Um, I personally had COVID and I know um, it's a scary feeling. It's just definitely a scary feeling and the vaccine works. St. Louis County health officials share a similar message. Our greatest concern, of course, is the sense of complacency that seems to have set in. People believe that the pandemic is over or they are so over the pandemic. Regrettably, the virus is still with us. Stewart says many in her community have compromised immune systems, which is why getting your guard back up early is important. If you take the vaccine, the chances of you um, dying from COVID is slim. You just have to wear your mask, wash your hands, take precautions. The CDC currently has St. Charles County under a medium risk level. The health department there says they are monitoring the increase in cases. They urge anyone who has symptoms to get tested. I'm Ryan Henson, five on your side. Hospitalizations on both sides of the river are also on the rise, but they're far below levels of other surges. Tonight, around 200 people are hospitalized with COVID-19. That's the most since early March. More than half of them are fully vaccinated.